Okay, I was gonna put Sarah McLaughlin singing in the arms of the angel in this intro, but then I realized I was gonna get hit with the DMCA and we don't want that. So let's just start talking about To the Rescue. What's up, friendos? This is Wireless Riot, and today we are talking about To the Rescue, which is a dog shelter simulator. You start off as finding a stray dog in your yard and you feel absolutely horrible for it, so it's up to you and your guilt trip to go on and take care of this dog. You try to take him to your local shelter, which is the responsible thing to do, but they're unfortunately full up, so the person who works there is a friend of yours and comes and helps you build a kennel. That just sparks the need to save every dog on on the planet. Now you are opening up your own shelter. There are several dogs that are already there waiting for you, ready to give you the most difficult time you're probably going to have. So the accuracy of this dog shelter simulator is actually way up there. You are making sure that they are fed with the proper food. If you don't feed them the proper food, they go to the bathroom absolutely everywhere, which is, again, my dog, 100%, if you don't give her her bougie food. You're going in, you're taking them for baths, you're making sure that they are meeting with potential adopters, and potential adopters are looking at them. It's always an old lady, I'm so confused. She wants a dog, so you're helping her out. The simulation runs through each day, and in the demo that I did, it gave you about, I think, three or four days of the dog simulator, which was really fun. It did a pretty accurate job of showing you that it is really difficult to actually open up a dog shelter. You don't just run in and, oh my God, I want to pet dogs, even though I love petting dogs and I wish I could pet dogs right now. Actually, I'm going to pet my dog right now. Okay, back to work. The rest of this is having you adopt the dogs out, making money like that. You have to spend money to make money, so you're buying food, you're buying supplies, you're paying yourself. It does a very good job of that. And I do have to say that there are a lot of different things that you can change in the game. I appreciated that there was the ability to remap every key. The importance of the accessibility of changing keys as needed is really important and I'm glad that they did that. There are a few other things in there as well where you can go in, you can make it a little bit easier for yourself if you just wanna play this as a casual dog simulator. So I played it more as an on the normal mode and I felt like normal mode was way too fast in the days. I didn't get to what I needed. It didn't do a good job of being intuitive of telling me which dogs needed help unless I was scrolling by them. My dog can't stop winding herself into the ground. I don't know what's going on here. I definitely had some struggles with the game. There were a few control struggles that were very frustrating and the dogs kept getting out of their kennels for some reason. So it's a little buggy, but again, this is a game that was just a demo. It's not released yet. So it's not an early access. It's not a released game. It was just a demo. And I'm more than willing to bet that they're gonna fix all of that before they go live. All in all, To the Rescue was a really fun little dog simulator. I am excited to see what they do. I know that they are working really hard on the game right now. I first saw this game at the Wholesome Direct and I thought it was a, such a charming idea. The art is really cute. The dogs are adorable. All you wanna do is just pet dogs all day. All the dogs are generated with their own traits and preferences so that they're all unique. So you don't just keep getting the same kind of dog over and over and over again. 20% of the profit of sales for To The Rescue is going to go towards real dog shelters through their charity partner, the Pet Finder Foundation. Anytime that I can support those sites or foundations, I am there for that. Make sure that you hop down into the description, you get onto Steam, you wishlist this game, you download the demo, and you play it and tell me what you think about it in the comments down below. I'm really interested to hear your thoughts. I would love it if while you're rolling on down there, if you could hit that like button and then hit that subscribe button if you're new here. I'm Wireless Riot and I will see you guys in the next video.